Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for today's presentation as part of the Industry Insight webinar series. The topic this time is why all lawyers can use Microsoft Office 365. Speaking today will be Larry Port and Nefra McDonald. Larry Port is the founder and CEO of Rocket Matter. He has shared his insights on the legal profession, cutting edge technology, and law firm marketing as a speaker and award winning writer. He frequently discusses design efficiency and quality techniques in the software industry that can be leveraged by lawyers and legal professionals. He was named the 2012 Fast Case 50 honoring the law's smartest, most courageous innovators, techies, visionaries, and leaders. Nefer McDonald is the strategic marketing manager at Rocket Matter. After working in various capacities at law firms, corporations, and nonprofits, she now uses her experience to help address the pain points that practicing lawyers feel every day. She currently co-chairs Rocket Matters Product Advisory Committee, which serves as a source of targeted feedback for companies' products and improvement strategy. The presentation today will be followed by a Q&A. Please enter your questions into the question box in the webinar panel on the right side of your screen. All questions will be addressed at the end of the presentation. We are recording this webinar and we will be sending the video in a follow-up email in a few days. We will also post a video on our blog at www.lawtechnologytoday.org. Thank you all for joining us. We'll now begin the webinar. Thank you so much for that introduction, Austin. Um, this is Nefer McDonald speaking. We're really happy to be here today to present to all of you um, some reasons why lawyers should use Microsoft Office 365. Um, and for those of you that are on this webinar, I'm guessing that you have either already used Office 365 or you're curious about it and thinking about making the switch. Um, so Office released, um, or Microsoft released Office 365 in 2011. And over the years, they kept expanding their offerings and moving toward that software as a service model. Um, and since then, adoption has just gone through the roof. And we're going to tell you a little bit about the latest reports from Microsoft on the numbers that they're seeing here. And Nefra, before you get to the actual statistics, we were observing this anecdotally. I mean, you know, from our vantage point at Rocket Matter, we're serving all these law firms, like thousands of them across the country, and they just seemed like everybody adopted this at once. And um, <clears throat> so it's really interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen a software adoption happen so quickly before. So it's a fascinating thing. So the latest numbers from Microsoft for their quarter one fiscal year 17 numbers, over 85 million Office 365 users are reported. Um, so that's a lot of numbers. It's a lot of people. And for business professionals especially, this is a huge deal. Um, there's a lot of fear about moving to the cloud, but Microsoft has done a really good job over the years making people feel more comfortable about, this, about the security of their data and about their development processes in the cloud. Um, and the pricing structure has also really helped with that. But like Larry was saying, we're seeing some really enormous growth, year-over-year -year growth of 40% um, at least. I mean, we've heard numbers up to 47%, which is super huge. Um, and we're looking at seeing 100 million Office 365 users in early 2017. That's what the projections are showing. So numbers like this mean that this solution is, quite frankly, here. And it's the wave of the future, and it's the wave of now. Um, a lot of our law firms are using 365, um, and we've heard a lot of them ask us whether we would be interested in doing an integration with Office 365. So we answered that call this year, um, and, and it's really proven to be something very exciting for us. So one of the advantages that we want to talk to you about is that price point. So for $12.50 a month per user, you can get the Office Business Premium, which is the highest tier that Microsoft offers. Um, for businesses, the standalone, if you're buying it out of the box, starts at $230 with prices that go up to $400 for the version that gets you publisher and access. So this price is also limited to one user. With the business premium, when you buy that license, you're getting access to this on multiple devices, cross-platform. So if you've got um, an iPhone and you wanted to download the apps to that, you could totally do that. And if you use a PC at work, you can still have access to that same license. And then if you use a Mac at home, that license is still yours to use. Uh, with the out-of-the-box version, you would have to buy a different version of that product for each one of your devices. 
Furthermore, the mobile version is not available to you with that out-of-the-box solution. So for that price point, you're getting a whole lot of product. Yeah, it's almost like they had smart people at Microsoft like designing <laughs> the pricing. So um, one thing also I'll add as a business owner and you know a lot of the small law firms or business owners, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of preserving cash flow. So if I can, um, instead of plunking down a major investment up front, I will I prefer to have a predictable budget and just have that line on, on, my, on my budget. And so I'd much rather spend $12.50 than spend like $400 personally. So the next thing we want to talk about is reducing your data management costs. So unless you're at a firm where there are more than 100 users, you're likely paying tens of thousands of dollars to your IT company to maintain your Exchange server. Between the physical server costs, backups, ongoing maintenance, it all adds up. And so even if your argument is, well, an in-house server is more secure, it's not. There are very, very scary things that can happen with an in-house server. And Microsoft, with this small price, is dedicating full-time people to maintenance and security, and it's a fraction of the price of what you pay for having somebody in-house. Security is also a factor here, and we talked a little bit about that. So Office is constantly updated to enhance security, and your data is encrypted at rest and in transit. So when you move to a cloud-based service, you should be able to trust your cloud services provider with your data, especially in the legal profession where you have tons of sensitive information. You also have ethical responsibilities when you're moving your practice to the cloud um, to consider when you're dealing with new business providers in the cloud. And it's, it's incumbent upon you to ask the right questions, to know what's being done with your data, and whether it's secure. So Microsoft has really taken care of that for you. If you ever have questions about the security of your data, how Microsoft is using your data, they publish white papers constantly, they will let you into their development processes and the steps they take during that development process to make security a part of each step. Um, so if that's ever a question for you, Microsoft constantly publishes this data, so you should, you should feel pretty good about that. Two pieces of commentary there. The first one is that um, <clears throat> we're kind of at this weird inflection point with cloud versus on-premise servers where um, your clients, if they ask you, okay, like where is your data kept? And like 10 years ago, if you were like, oh, it's kept in a third-party data facility like in the cloud somewhere versus it's in my office back here, like 10 years ago, that may have sounded better to clients that it was actually in your office. Now, having a server in your office with all the physical risks that go with it, you know, cleaning crews or whoever else has access to your office, um, that sounds a lot less secure now to people than, oh, my data is hosted by Amazon or, oh, my data is hosted by the Microsoft Cloud. So it, it's kind of a curious inflection point there. Um, <clears throat> so um, I had another piece of commentary that I wanted to add here, and I'm trying to think about what it was, and I'm, I'm completely forgetting. Um, but I'll let Nefer continue, and if it comes back to me, I'll let you know. Yes, please let me know. So the other thing that is an advantage for Office 365 is that you can access it from the cloud or your desktop. You're not limited to one or the other. There's this misnomer that Office 365 is solely cloud-based. And so you do have access to both. And if you use their OneDrive for storage, changes to the documents that you're making can be saved and worked on from either the web-based platform or the desktop version. Um, the web-based platform is also super great for live collaboration, um, so that's one of the perks there. If you buy the out-of-the-box version of Microsoft, like I mentioned before, you will get what you get. That version is the version. You're not getting any updates besides security patches. Um, you're also not getting the ability to get those mobile applications. With 365, you're getting the cloud access, you're getting the desktop access, you're getting the mobile access, um, and if you're a, cr a cross-platform user, like I mentioned, between Windows and Mac and Android, um, you'll, you'll have access across platforms without having to buy multiple licenses. Yeah, Nefra, I remember what it was I was going to okay, say. Okay, good. So what I wanted to say is that if you're like, if you have like questions about cloud and cloud services and what questions to ask a cloud provider, the ABA's LTRC 
has all sorts of great resources for you. So you can go on and, and take a look on their website and um, that will direct you to the right place. Also, if you have any questions for us or uh, you need direction to the right place or resources or whatever, this slide deck in and of itself, just email me, Larry at RocketMentor.com or Nefra, which is spelled what? N as in Nancy, E, F as in Frank, R-A at RocketMatter.com. That's right. How fun. Okay, so one of the last advantages that we want to talk about, there are so many that we could cover, um, but we've only got a short while with you, is business resumption. So every business needs a plan for restoration after an emergency, especially with a law firm. So you have fears of servers crashing, a virus or a worm damaging your data, a hurricane coming. Yes, in um, Florida we, we don't like hurricanes. Yeah, so you, you have to have that business continuation plan. And so with 365 and cloud-based practice management software, there's no need for duplicate server rooms off-site if you're using all of the features to their fullest potential. So this is already a built-in tool for you to be able to say, all right, hurricane's coming, let's go to the West Coast and set up shop there. You've got internet access, you've got access to everything that you need to continue to run your firm, um, and you're, there's less of a fear of losing your data. So that's definitely a huge perk. So we want to talk too about the perks for the business premium. This is the plan that um, a lot of our experts that we work with have said that it makes the most sense for law firms. Um, so in addition to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Office 365 also unlocks Outlook, Publisher, and Access at every subscription level. Uh, with the out-of-the-box version, sometimes you would have to buy, and I know this for the Mac version, you'd have to buy Outlook separately. That's not the case here. Um, so the, you get the 2016 apps for PC and Mac. Each user can install Office on five PCs or Macs, five tablets, and five phones. You get access to the online services. Um, you can... Um, and the online services are incredibly robust. Like when we do our demonstration, you're going to see the online version. And you'll see, like even if you have a $250 Chromebook, you'll be able to use uh, these Microsoft products. So it's, it's pretty impressive what they've built out in Redmond. Uh, the other thing too is, is email hosting. Um, you get a 50 gigabyte mailbox with each license. Um, OneDrive for Business gives you one terabyte of personal cloud storage that you can access from anywhere. It syncs with your PC and Mac for offline access, and you can easily share documents with others inside and outside of your office and control who can see and edit each file. So there's some permission functions with that as well. So the business version is really going to give you access to things that uh, you use every day, and they're super powerful tools. A terabyte is a lot of data. To use up an entire data by, uh, a, an entire terabyte, which is like a trillion bytes, um, that's a tremendous amount of data. It's a lot of video, actually, to be honest. If you were going to just do it with Word documents, you'd never be able to do it in your lifetime. It's a beautiful thing. So now let's talk about how lawyers use Office 365. Um, I'm sure you're already using some sort of word processing, at the very least, in your law firm. Certainly email. So from your desktop, mobile, any device, your tablet, you can have access to your documents anywhere. And this is a huge deal for attorneys that are constantly on the go. Trends are moving toward people accessing and running their firms from tablets and smartphones. Um, and with a platform like this, being able to access everything that you're working on from anywhere is super important. You're the ones that are generating thousands of documents and emails every single day. That's what drives your business. And this platform allows you to do that from multiple places at a low cost. So how does that factor into how you run your practice? So Rocket Matter is a cloud-based practice management software that allows you to capture time and billing, control your contacts, control your calendar events, and everything that you need for all of your matters in one place. By integrating with Office 365, we're giving you even more power to bill as you work and save you a ton of time. So some key integration features. You can track your emails. Our integration with Outlook allows you to send your emails directly to Rocket Matter with just a few clicks. You can add billable time to each of these emails, send the attachments with these emails, 
and we'll show you how that works in just a second. You can sync your contacts between your Outlook and your Rocket Matter, so you're never out of sync with who's a part of your firm and, um, and who's attached to your matters. You can sync your calendars, so anything that's added to your Rocket Matter calendar will also be added to your Outlook calendar. You'll never be out of sync with what it is you need to do for your matters. You can upload documents and add billable time to them. So that includes your Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents. And these can be associated with matters, saved to your Rocket Matter. You can leverage document versioning with this also. So if any edits are made, you'll be able to add comments to it. You can see the last edit. Um, and it's, it's really going to help you keep track of how a document moves through the beginning draft stages to that final stage. And the beautiful thing is that you can work from anywhere. So let's show you how easy it is to sync your contacts and calendar and bill for your time. All right. So here we go with the product demonstration side of things. So let me just uh, pull that up so you can see the fun stuff. All right. Okay. So what you're looking at right now, let me just kind of... Uh, this is a browser. This is Chrome, but this is Word Online. Okay, when you sign up for Office 365, uh, you can download a version for the Mac. You can download a version for Windows, and so, so you can use it on either platform. Plus, you have this like very robust like word processor that's in the browser. It uh, it's amazing. It you know uh, if if you've been using Google Docs, this is a lot more powerful than Google Docs, and it. it Microsoft, I got to hand it to them after some like kind of years where they were like putting out the Zune, if you remember that, and some other like real questionable stuff. They really knocked it out of the park with this product. In fact, now this is pretty stunning. In fact, my good friend Ben Stevens, who is the Mac lawyer, um, who wrote the ABA Journal cover story on using a Mac in a law firm, he switched from the tools that Apple developed, like pages and numbers and things like that. He switched to Office 365. So we're seeing even diehard Mac fans switch into Office 365. So, you know, it, it, ha it does most of the things that you would typically expect to be able to do. You have, um, you have words, you're, you can spell check, you can type things, you have formatting, and so on and so forth, right? So what I want to do right here is I'm going to save this. I'm going to make this um, a new file, okay? So I'm going to call this um, engagement letter ABA demo, right? And save. Okay, here we go. I just want to have a different name here. Now, here we are. What I want to do is I want to upload this to Rocket Matter because it's integrated with Rocket Matter, right? And this works the same way in Excel and PowerPoint if you're working offline or working directly in the browser. Uh, this works the exact same way. You have a button right here with your plugin that says sync document. And the first thing is, is that, you know, if I'm, if I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, do other things, like if I, let's say that I'm going to like spend some time on this document, I can like run a timer right here. This is like part of the plugin. So if you're a big timer person and we have like a number of our lawyers are like, just like pound on timers, you know, you can like run this while you're doing your stuff whenever you're ready to go. Um, I'm going to call this something else. I'm going to call this engagement letter ABA demo. And I am going to pick a, a different thing. Now, the, the cool thing is, is that um, because it's integrated with Rocket Matter, it's going in, getting the matter list of the ones of the matters that you have access to and presenting those in a list to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a matter from the list. Um, my billing user is Sally Jones. Let's say that I worked on this yesterday I want to capture time for, and let's boost this up. Let's make this 2.2. That's an easy thing to remember. And I'm going to say this is a test document for demonstration purposes. And I am going to save this. And off we go. All right. So now this has been like uploaded into Rocket Matter. When we get back over there, we can uh, take a look at it. Um, so this is a pretty powerful functionality. Um, this, when, when you look in the browser version of Office 365, you click on this little button over here, and it shows you all the other things that you can do. And you see a lot of, like, I'm 
do you even know what soy does? Like there's all this stuff in here, I don't even know what it does. But obviously there's the big ones. There's mail, there's calendar, which is you know the Outlook functionality. You got um, all this other stuff. You got OneDrive, which is their version of Google Drive or Dropbox, however you want to call it. You got Word, Excel, PowerNote, PowerPoint, and OneNote. And if you're, um, you know, OneNote is, to be honest, is, is like an Evernote competitor. I didn't even know about it. And I started using it last year when I got my Apple iPad and I had my Apple Pencil. It's actually pretty interesting to try and use OneNote. So there's all this stuff in here that you can use. Um, so before we go over to the Rocket Matter side of things, let's uh, open Mail. And I'm going to say, okay, it's going to open it right in here. I wanted to open it in a new tab, but what can you do? All right, so I'm going to click on an email. So I got this email here, okay? It says, you know, this is just like you would look at anything, right? You would like open up an email, you would take a look at it, but what I can do is I can upload this email instantly into Rocket Matter. So if I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, I'm going to add this to the same client matter that I added before. So I'm going to type a couple letters and I got the autocompleter coming up here. So I'm going to pick the forklift accident and I'm going to say the billing user is the same person. And let's make it today the billing date. And let's say we did we did 2.0 for the other one. Let's do 1.1 for this one. And I am going to add a billing description. I'll say test billing description. There you go. And I can upload the attachment if I want. I can no charge this or I can make this non-billable if I want to. So now I'm just going to save it. All right, so that's been saved. And the other thing that's important to know about Outlook is that I can set up a two-way sync with my contacts, so they're in both places. Now, um, so that's how that works with uh, the email. And before we go over to the Rocket Matter, well, let me do one last thing and let me open the calendar. Okay. So if you take a look at our calendar, I have three things today. You have breakfast meeting with Hobbs, you got Sally Jones to touch base, and you got this deposition, right? So if we go over here into Rocket Matter, let's go to our dashboard. And let's, first of all, let's go to the Crow Forklift accident. So I can type in a couple of letters. It pulls up my Matter dashboard. All right. If I look at my recent billable activities, I can see down here, test billing description, ABA demo, right? And let's go take a look at what we got. So if we take a look at our emails first, you'll see here is the email that I uploaded. The subject is there. You can see that if I click on this, then the attachment is there. I can download the attachment that I uploaded. Um, going back to this list, if I click on the dollar sign, I can see the uh, billable units that were uploaded into this thing. So that's great, that's beautiful, that, that helps us out. Um, if I go to Matter Documents, okay, I can see the engagement letter ABA demo that I uploaded, all right? So that's in there. So, so the thing that I was working on inside of Word is now in Rocket Matter because I uploaded that thing, right? And one thing that you'll notice is that we now have versions. So if I make a change to that, which I'll do in a second here, you'll see that those versions will be updated as well. Um, this is totally eliminating another step. Before you would have to upload an email and then add some billable time to it or add a time slip separately for some time that you worked on a document or update another one because you've made some changes to that document. Um, the changes are happening real time and it's being synced to your practice management software. So you don't have to go update your billing. It's eliminating a step, which frees up more time for you to do some more billable activity. <laughs> yeah, and one of the things that we observed, like the way, the problem that we saw law firms facing was the fact that they would kind of do all their work, then at the end of the month, they would reconstitute their billing by looking through Outlook and, you know, their legal pads, and they do this whole thing where they upload all their time at once. The, the, the philosophy here is that you bill as you work. So, um, you know, that's why it's, that's why you have a timer inside of Outlook, inside of Word and all these different kind of things so that as you're working, you can collect time. And so when it comes time to run your bills, you do your batch billing, boom, they all go out. So we're trying to combine all those workflows that lawyers have and, and, and legal professionals have and just like kind of unite them in one place. Um, all right, let's go, let me log back into, um, let's see, let me log back into the calendar for one quick second. 
All right. So let's do this. Um, one thing I'm going to add right here, I'm just going to click on this date and I'm just going to add a, a calendar event just to show you how the synchronization works. We're having an undeliverable issue going on with one of our emails here. So I'm going to say test cal event for ABI. All right. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that. So it's going to be tomorrow and it's going to be from 8 to 8.30. All right. So there we go. Here it is. All right. Now, um, let's do another change, okay? So let's go back over to Word for a second, and let's edit that document that we were working on. So I'm going to use my um, use my little thing here, and now I'm opening up Word, and let's open up the engagement letter that we were working on, and let's make a change to it. Let's make a change, and let's change it from Bert. Let's change the name here, something like that, right? Um, oops. I'm going to edit right here in the browser. Okay. So I'm going to change the guy's name from Bert. Let's say, Dear Jacob. Fine name. And I am just going to upload this to Rocket Matter. So, and I, what I'm going to do here is, um, let me make one more change. I'm going to come over here and there's a change comment activated. So now I'm going to say change name from Bert to Jacob. And I'm going to save that to Rocket Matter. And then when we go take a look at that document again, you're going to see that there's a change log in there. And that works the same way, whether it's in Excel, PowerPoint, or Word, right? Most of the time your document production is going to be in Word. Okay, so if I go to my dashboard, and we look at tomorrow, we see the test cal event for ABA is in there, right? So you see that is in there and um, uh, you see the synchronization going back and forth between Rocket Matter and Outlook. It goes two ways, same with context as well. Larry, what if you have um, attendees that need to be at that test calendar event? Can you add them from Outlook to Rocket Matter? Yes, I believe you can. Beautiful. So you can have attendees going both ways, right? Um, <clears throat> Now, if we go to that, uh, if we go to our documents, and I'm going to show you how to navigate to your documents from this screen, uh, as opposed to going to the matter. Um, I believe we were looking at the Crow forklift accident. So if we take a look, yeah, here it is. If we take a look at our versions, we can see that we have another version that we uploaded. So now we can revert to these various different stages of the documents that we're working in. It's a very powerful functionality.